Hello, and welcome to the June installment of Construction Junction, presented to you by MSU Infrastructure Planning and Facilities. We hope that you find this new online format of Construction Junction useful and informative. If you have any comments or questions concerning this presentation, or have suggestions on how we might improve, please let us know via the feedback box on the Construction Junction webpage located at the address on the screen. We thank you in advance for helping us improve your experience. The agenda for the June presentation will begin with updates on which projects are going to the next two Board of Trustees meetings. There will then be new project presentations on parking lot restriping and parking lot reconstruction projects. We will then have updates on the following projects. Abbott Road Landscape Rejuvenation, 1855 Place, Breslin Student Event Center Facility Upgrades, Engineering Building Alterations to Suite 1515, Hubbard Hall Exterior Masonry Repairs, New Natural Gas Pipeline for Mount Hope Road, and T.B. Simon Power Plant Upgrade Utility Substation. Beginning with the June Board of Trustees meeting, there are currently no projects scheduled for Step 2 or Step 3 approval. Moving on to the September BOT meeting, the projects going to the Board will be, for Step 2, Authorization to Proceed, Engineering Research Complex, Addition 4 and Renovations, and the Data Center. And for Step 3, Bid and Contract Award, Food Processing and Innovation Center. We begin this month's presentation with an overview of parking lot restriping projects scheduled for this summer. The majority of parking areas on campus are striped on a three-year rotation schedule to ensure that markings remain clearly visible to lot users. Painting is scheduled in two-week time periods to allow for striping to take place in smaller sections and to also allow for weather delays. Parking areas that are being painted are generally shut down for two to three hours but may take longer due to adverse weather conditions which can cause the paint to dry slower. Impacts to the campus community should be minimal. Painting crews begin work at 5 a.m. and spaces are left available whenever possible. And campus visitors and employees are asked to refrain from moving cones or parking in spaces that are being painted or that have been recently been painted so as not to inhibit the painting crews. Here is a map showing the lots scheduled for restriping during the period of May 23rd through June 10th. Work at the Communication Arts and Sciences parking ramp, Ramp 5 at the corner of Red Cedar and Trowbridge Roads, is scheduled to begin sometime in June and will last through the month of July. And here are the lots scheduled for restriping during the period of June 13th through June 24th. And the lots scheduled for restriping during the period of June 27th through July 8th. Note, the lot behind the IPF building, Lot 59, will be restriped on a Saturday in July with the exact date dependent on weather conditions. And finally, we have the lot scheduled for restriping during the period of July 11th through July 22nd. If you would like further information about these projects or have questions or concerns about the work being done, please contact the project manager, Adam Lover. We will now cover the parking lots on campus that are scheduled for reconstruction during the 2016 summer season. There are three lots on campus that are scheduled for partial or full reconstruction, including Lot 83, Service Road, across from University Stores, Lot 88, Linen Services, and Lot 89, the Commuter Lot. The work at Lot 89, the commuter parking lot at the corner of Mount Hope Road and Farm Lane, will include full reconstruction of the southeast portion of the lot and surface milling and repaving of the bus loop drives. If you would like further information about the Lot 89 project or have any questions or concern about the work being done, please contact the construction representative, Kevin Durkin. The construction at Lots 83 and 88 behind the Linen Services Building and Power Plant Cooling Towers will be phased with the easternmost work being done April 18th through June 6th and the remainder of the work occurring from May 9th through June 6th. This project is necessary to separate storm and sanitary sewers to better handle rainwater during heavy weather events. If you would like further information about the Lot 83 and 88 project or have any questions or concerns about this work being done, please contact Construction Representative Chris Barnes. 
Now we begin our individual project updates, starting with the Abbott Road Landscape Rejuvenation Project. This project is located at the Abbott Road campus entrance between Campbell Hall and the MSU Union. This project is necessary as the Norway maples along this major circulation route represent a safety hazard. The overall condition of these trees is poor and they are experiencing continued declines in health, including internal decay, crown dieback, and girdling roots, mainly due to the fact that they are an invasive species, not native to this area. Also, the Norway spruce identified has a decay column that extends to grade level and thus requires removal. The goals of this project include utilizing funding to improve a signature campus site, to renovate an aging landscape and strengthen the university's historical entrance, and to reinforce the campus landscape master plan and campus entrance's overarching goal, which is to establish a recognizable and visually attractive design aesthetic that appropriately identifies the campus at its borders, provides for safe circulation, and aids in visitor wayfinding. The scope of the project will include removal of 21 declining non-native Norway maples and one declining Norway spruce along the boulevard, replacing them with 14 swamp white oaks, which are a species native to the area, which will provide a stately canopy structure. It is important to note that some of the oldest trees on campus are swamp white oaks, which is a testament to their longevity. Removal of eight low evergreen groupings at the boulevard to improve circulation sight lines. Addition of five sugar time crab apples to provide a seasonal interest backdrop at the historic limestone marker. Infilling with five trees along the Union Building and Camp Bell Hall to maintain a park-like signature entrance. And compaction alleviation of and amendment to surrounding soils. This project is scheduled to begin on May 23rd to avoid impact to commencements and the East Lansing Art Fair, and is scheduled for completion on June 17th. Impacts to the community will include closure of southbound Abbott Road between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. from May 23rd through June 10th. However, the road will be open on weekends. Metered parking on southbound Abbott Road will not be available for the duration of the project. There will also be minor and intermittent pedestrian detours. Union sidewalks and parking bays will have temporary closures for repairs and exterior accessibility improvements. There are no utility shutdowns expected during this project. During the same period, we are taking the opportunity to restore the historic masonry benches alongside Campbell Hall. Here is a graphic showing the specimens planned for removal. And here we show the proposed planning replacements as well as the historic benches that are being restored. Here you see a photo of crews removing diseased and decaying trees from the project site. Rejuvenation work continues in the project zone. And this is an example of an area of the project zone which has been completely cleared and is ready to be prepared for new plantings. If you would like further information about this project, or have any questions or concern about the work being done, please contact design representative Tressa Wall. Next we have an update on the 1855 Place project. This project is located in the Northwest Residential Mixed Use Districts at the former site of the Michigan State Police East Lansing Post. The goals of this project include creating a living environment that supports both single students and student families around the resources they need to be academically successful, creating an institutional asset to further our world-class land-grant mission, consolidating office spaces from across campus, freeing up space for academic programs while saving resources and improving communication, and creating synergies between residential and hospitality services and intercollegiate athletics. The scope of this project will include a 102,000 square foot mixed use office building that will be LEED Silver certified, which will include RHS offices, intercollegiate athletic offices, as well as retail space. Creation of 438,000 square feet of student apartments, both single student apartments, studio, two bedroom and four bedroom, as well as family housing apartments, one bedroom and two bedroom. 
creation of 2,075 parking spaces, including a parking deck to accommodate students, staff, and campus events. Funding sources for this project will come from auxiliary funds, from RHS, intercollegiate athletics, and parking fees. Construction on this project commenced this past summer and will continue through the summer of 2017. The project will be completed in two phases to ensure that event parking is not impacted. The site as it existed prior to the start of construction shows the location of University Village, which will remain after construction is complete, the location of event parking, which is being relocated to the south, as well as the three structures that have been demolished or relocated. The site redevelopment will include building of new family housing, single student apartments, retail and office space, and a new parking deck and surface lot. This project is being completed in two phases in order to minimize disruptions and to maintain event parking availability during the entirety of the project. Phase one included demolition of the existing police post buildings and the theater department scene shop, which was relocated to South Campus next to the MSU Federal Credit Union. Phase one also includes the construction of the parking ramp and surface lot, as well as the construction of three family housing units. During phase one construction, a temporary construction access road has been installed to the west of the site. Phase two of the project will include construction of the single student apartment buildings, as well as the office retail towers. During this phase, event parking will be moved to the newly constructed parking deck and surface lot. Here you see an aerial view rendering of the project showing the location of the new parking deck, the office and retail towers, single student apartment buildings, the existing university village structures, and the new family housing units. Here you see the address and building name assignments for this project. Please note that the address of the Communications Storage University Village Building is changing from 1165 Garden City Road to 1159 Pine Tree Court. The address of the parking booth for Lot 63 is also changing from 721 South Harrison Road to 675 South Harrison Road. Here is a view of the proposed office tower showing the intercollegiate athletic office space on the top floor. Here is a view of the mixed use tower from the corner of Harrison and Kalamazoo. Construction of the south elevator shaft of mixed use building A is currently in progress. Exterior work on the family housing units continues and is nearing its final stages. Work continues on the framing construction of the single student townhouse style apartment buildings. For those of you who would like to follow the progress of construction on this project, please check out the live webcam site at the address on the screen. If you would like further information about this or any other project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. There you will find links to all current and past projects. Specific questions regarding the 1855 Place project can be directed to the project representative, Andy Linebaugh. We next have an update on the work that is being done as part of the Breslin Student Event Center Facility Upgrades Project. The Breslin Center is located in the Athletic and Recreation District. The university is undertaking this project in order to enhance the student, alumni, fan, and public experience by improving the functionality of the event center, to create a lasting legacy by integrating a sense of Spartan tradition throughout the facility, and to extend the useful life of the building by improving services to fans and implementing major maintenance items. The project will be divided into two phases, facility upgrades and athletics addition. The phases are being designed in a way that minimizes rework and are being fully coordinated throughout their design and construction. Phase one will include a 22,000 square foot addition around the building, an expanded concourse, renovation and upgrading of the restroom facilities, renovation of concession stands, improvements to the entry vestibules to the main concourse, improvements to finish levels and experience on the concourse, improvements to site conditions for ingress and egress, improvements to site security, replacement of the chiller system, and connection to the East Lansing water system. Phase two will include a 30,000 square foot addition, which will create a sense of main entry and destination into the building and will include a basketball hall of history. 
Construction on this project began in January and is expected to be complete by August of 2017. Here you see the proposed floor plan of the completed facility upgrades showing the expansion of the concourse areas, the new restroom and concession areas, and the new Hall of History. Here is a graphic showing the work that is being scheduled during the period of June 3rd through June 13th, designating those areas of the facility that will be offline. Note that other areas of the facility, including the arena, will remain open during construction to provide accessibility to various events. And here is a graphic showing the work that is being scheduled for the period June 13th through June 24th, which will include relocation of the entrance to Lot 63. And finally, the work that is planned for the period of June 24th through July 25th, which will include relocation of the Kalamazoo Street Cata bus stop, as well as median work on Harrison Road between the Breslin Center and 1855 Place. As part of the Breslin upgrade, there will also be changes to the area surrounding the center. A new plaza outside of the Hall of History is planned, with the Magic Johnson statue being slightly relocated to accommodate the new addition. There will also be improvements to adjacent parking and loading areas, as well as a new crosswalk across Harrison Road to the newly constructed parking ramp. Here you see an artist rendering of one of the upgraded concourse gate areas. Entrances will now have expanded plazas for better pedestrian flow, as well as double sets of doors to improve temperature maintenance. Here you see an artist rendering of the Hall of History Plaza, which will include the relocated Magic Johnson statue. Work continues on the exterior of the Northeast Edition, as well as at the Northwest Edition. On May 25th, the Magic Johnson statue was relocated to a temporary area pending completion of construction on the new Basketball Hall of History. Here you see crews preparing the excavated statue for relocation. A 500-ton crane was used to move the 187,000-pound statue. The statue had to be moved to a halfway point first in order to reposition the crane for movement to its final resting place. And here you see the statue, safe and sound, in its temporary home. The statue will be moved to the new Hall of History Plaza upon completion of the facility. In January, the Spartan Basketball All Access YouTube episode number three, entitled Big Plans, featured an interview with IPF design representative Jeff Bonk as well as head coach Tom Izzo's take on the project. You know, they say when there's cranes in the air, it means good things are happening. You know, when, when you have trucks out there, when you have cones out there, when you have fences out there, when they are tearing down some things um, to put up even bigger and better things, uh, it's very exciting. On October 30th, 2015, the Michigan State University Board of Trustees approved a $50 million expansion and renovation to the Breslin Center, the home of MSU's men's and women's basketball, and host to more than 200 events each year. Some of the renovations highlights include a 26,000 square foot addition to the concourse and a hall of history planned to encompass 33,000 square feet. The design has just been completed, so but about 18 months of design work is done, so there's a lot that goes ahead of the construction. Construction is starting right now in January. We're setting trailers uh, out right now. You see some fencing. Then you'll start to see some exterior work being done outside of the building. There's a number of things going on there. I think what, what Spartan fans and folks that visit the Breslin Center are going to see will impact them ultimately. Wider concourses, new entryways, uh, new floors, new lighting, new concession areas, new restrooms, more restrooms. Uh, the fan amenities will be uh, tremendously upgraded. The entry, exterior entryways into the building, uh, there'll be more plaza space outside. Uh, those are all things I think that, that uh, Spartan fans will, will see and, and, uh, and really enjoy when it's done. But then there's another piece of the project that's an athletics piece where the Magic Johnson statue is now in the southeast corner of the building, will be our Hall of History and become one of the main entrances to the building. Included in that will be a new box office. Uh, there'll be a retail store there that'll sell Spartan goods. And, and then um, a high-tech, high-energy, if you will, um, Hall of History area uh, that's 
going to kind of tell the story of, of our men's basketball program, our women's basketball program, and we're going to use enough technology in there that that technology can be used for other events that are in the building, for graduations and so on, so that we can greet people and recognize people as they come in for uh, to see graduation. So that piece will start in May. Uh, and that piece will parallel what's going on with the rest of the building and then it'll all be finished right around August, uh, September 1 of uh, 2017. In addition to the renovations being done on the ground level, one level below the Hall of History will be a new basketball strength and conditioning center named after former Michigan State basketball player Draymond Green who made a $3.1 million contribution to MSU Athletics in the fall. The entire Hall of History project at the Breslin Center has been graciously funded by donors and supporters of Michigan State basketball. I will say what's really exciting about it uh, and unique is it's a phase project. It'll happen over two years while the building's in still in full operation. Uh, so we'll still be holding events in the building uh, while construction's going on. So uh, from a construction standpoint, it makes it really unique and at times will be exciting. Uh, but. You know, it'll be safe for everybody to get in and out of the building. And uh, there may be some small inconveniences outside of the building, getting around the outside of the building. But for the most part, uh, the next few months, they uh, shouldn't be affected at all. I think they've, they've gone with the theory that, uh, you know, you, you want to keep making it better. And uh, when it's time to do that, and it's been time to do that now, um, they're doing it. And so it's, uh, it's pretty exciting around Michigan State right now because there's more than a couple cranes in the in the skyline, but it's uh, really exciting in the basketball office with the team we got and what's happening to our arena and what's going to happen to our hall of history and our weight room and just getting so many people involved. Uh, it's vibrant around here right now. If you would like further information about this or any other project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. There you will find links to all current and past projects. Specific questions regarding the Breslin Center Facilities Upgrade Project can be directed to the construction representative, Jason Van Zee. Next, we have an update on the Engineering Building Alterations to Suite 1515 project. The Engineering Building is located in the Essential Academic District, just west of Anthony Hall. This project is necessary to provide the newly created Department of Computational Mathematics, Science and Engineering space to house faculty and staff. The scope of the project will include renovation of Suite 1515 to include creation of a second floor within the space, creation of an office suite for the department chairperson and staff, creation of 25 faculty offices, three visiting scholar shared offices, 10 postdoc workstations, 120 graduate assistant workstations, and one academic specialist office, and creation of shared space, which will include conferencing areas, collaboration enclaves, and study rooms. Impacts to the campus community include closure of the engineering library, which was previously housed in this space, relocation of study space to the east wing of the building, restriction of pedestrian access to the courtyard from the south, and short duration crane lifts to bring new equipment into the penthouse. Construction on the project began in January of this year and is expected to be complete in August. Here is a view of the first floor faculty offices, which have glass front walls. Work continues on the second floor graduate assistant space and faculty offices. And another view of this area. Here is a view of the progress being made on the first floor departmental conference room. If you'd like further information about this or any other project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. There you will find links to all current and past projects. Specific questions regarding the Engineering Building Suite 1515 Alterations Project can be directed to the construction representative, Todd Wilson. Next, we have an update on the Hubbard Hall Exterior Masonry Repair and Window Replacement Project. Hubbard Hall is located in the East Campus Residential District. This project is necessary to restore the structural integrity of the masonry building envelope that has serious structural problems. Since the original windows will need to be removed to perform the masonry repairs, they are being replaced with more energy efficient units. This extensive project will be completed in four phases. The southeast facade will be addressed this summer, 
with the other facades being worked on over the next consecutive three years. Impacts to the campus community will include limited use of Hubbard Hall to one living wing each summer during the project's duration. Construction on this project began in May with completion of the 2016 segment by July 31st and overall completion of the multi-year project by August of 2019. Here you see photos from the 2014 Interim Masonry Restoration and Exploratory Work which identified the issues with the expansion joints and deteriorating masonry. Here you see removal of windows and curtain wall panels to allow for the building of the mock-up for the masonry work. Here you see a mock-up corner showing the new brick and aluminum brick ledge which is supported by new steel tabs. Work is progressing on window removal on the southeast facade. Here is a shot of an area that has undergone window removal with temporary weather barrier installed to protect the interior spaces. This picture gives you an idea of the immensity of the project as crews work on just one of four building facades this summer. If you would like further information about this or any other project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. There you will find links to all current and past projects. Specific questions regarding the Hubbard Hall exterior masonry repair and window replacement project can be directed to the construction representative, Carol Cool. Next we have an update on the new natural gas pipeline project. This project is located in the service district between Mount Hope Road and the TB Simon power plant. This project serves to increase the reliability of the natural gas delivery system to the TB Simon power plant. The scope of the project includes installation of new 12-inch natural gas pipeline from Mount Hope Road to a new meter stand at the power plant, previously installed by Consumers Energy. The existing gas service to the power plant will remain connected for redundancy. There will also be augmentation to several miles of high pressure main in the Lansing area. Impacts to the campus community will be minimal. The project site is isolated to the service district of South Campus at the TB Simon power plant and adjacent areas. Pipeline installation is being performed by Consumers Energy. Site restoration will be performed by the Infrastructure Planning and Facilities Landscape Services Department. Final asphalt and restoration work will occur May 2016 along Mount Hope Road. Construction began in October of 2015 with gas service finished in December. Full project completion is expected in June of this year. Here is a photo of the staging area showing the piping sections that were installed. Here you see restoration of the bore pits that were used to install piping sections while minimizing disruption to the surrounding areas. Here is a photo of the completed gas meter stand enclosure showing the protective concrete bollards. If you would like further information about this or any other project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. There you will find links to all current and past projects. Specific questions regarding the natural gas pipeline project can be directed to the construction representative, Chris Barnes. Finally, we have an update on the TB Simon Power Plant Utility Substation Project. This project is located in the service district adjacent to the power plant. This project serves to provide a substation with increased capacity and reliability to deliver power to the FRIB and the TB Simon Power Plant. The scope of this project consists of three elements. An underground 138 kilovolt transmission line from the existing Michigan Electric Transmission Company transmission line north to the substation. Installation of a larger capacity substation consisting of two transformers with space for a future third transformer and installation of a substation along the Michigan Electric Transmission Line. Impacts to the campus community include limited duration road closures of Bennett Road, Forest Road, and Pavilion Drive from April through June of this year. Certain sections of the Forest Acres East Course will be impacted during installation of the conduit line. Site restoration will be performed by the IPF Landscape Services Department. Energizing the system will require critical coordination between the power plant and the FRIB. Construction on the project began in January of 2016 with expected power availability by March of 2017. Here you see an aerial view of the project site which includes a new substation, a new underground transmission line, 
and connection to the existing Michigan Electric Transmission Company transmission line. Here you see final restoration work being done at Forest Acres East, holes 5 and 6. Here you see a cross section of the pipeline that houses the nine cable conduits. This shot is actually of the portion of the line that was bored under the existing CSX railroad line. The new transmission line will terminate at the Spartan substation at the TB Simon power plant. And here is a shot of one of the manholes which have been constructed to splice sections of the new cable together. If you would like further information about this or any other project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. There you will find links to all current and past projects. Specific questions regarding the utility substation project can be directed to the construction representative, Chris Barnes. This concludes the June Construction Junction presentation. We encourage you to visit the Infrastructure Planning and Facilities website at www.ipf.msu.edu. There you will find information on construction and maintenance alerts, detour information, construction junction information, project, and contact information. There are also a number of other IPF resources available, including listservs that you can subscribe to to keep up to date with various IPF projects and events. Stay connected with IPF via social media. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Watch our videos on YouTube and follow us on Instagram. Construction Junction presentations will be made available on the CJ website beginning the 7th of each month. We thank you for taking the time to check us out and we hope you'll visit again soon.